Hi, this is Vijay Kumar from Nares Technologies and today's session I am going to explain about what is Pragma Autonomous Transaction. So one of the most important topic in uh, PLSQL stored procedures, very frequently asked question in interviews, what is Pragma Autonomous Transaction and by default. So, Oracle it will not create a separate transaction for procedure, Oracle it will not create a separate transaction for procedure. Procedure will be always uh, part of the main program transaction, but a separate transaction is not created for procedure. So, what happens is a commit command or a rollback command in procedure affects the transaction started in main program and separate transaction is not created for procedure, a commit or rollback command in procedure affects transaction started in main program. So, for example, suppose here, so I am taking one example, okay, then, so here there is a procedure, first see the procedure, there is a procedure, what the procedure is doing, so it is updating the uh, data uh, updating some particular record okay procedure is updating the record and the update is rolled back usually we don't directly roll back it like maybe day based on some conditions will roll back so if condition true commit otherwise roll back like that but just for example you assume that in procedure we are updating the record and that update is rolled back next after creating the procedure the procedure is invoked from uh, some other program and what that program is called calling program. So, calling program is what the program that is calling what procedure. So, in the calling program also, so there is a update command and after update and program is calling the procedure. So, procedure after procedure then commit. So, this is calling program. So, it is updating after updating calling the procedure after that commit is executed like see this when you submit this update command from uh, any PLS skill program. So, when whenever you submit a update command or whenever you submit a DML command to Oracle server. So, what Oracle will do Oracle starts a separate transaction. So, when you submit a DML command to Oracle server Oracle starts a new transaction. So, you submitted update command when you submit the update command Oracle starts a transaction, one transaction is started in Oracle and after that you are calling the procedure. When you call the procedure, control will go to the procedure. In procedure also there is update, okay. When control is moved to the procedure, in procedure also there is a update command. But Oracle will not start a separate transaction for procedure because by default the procedure is executed as a part of the main program. So, a separate transaction is not created for procedure. So, this update command also belongs to the transaction started in main program, okay. So, this update command also the transaction started in main program. Next, after that, so there is a rollback command. So, when this rollback is executed, when this rollback is executed, what this rollback will do? This rollback will cancel the transaction started in main program the rollback, this rollback cancels the transaction started in main program. So, what happens is the procedure update and the main program update and both updates are cancelled. So, this update and that update both updates are cancelled due to this rollback. So, here what is happening here? A rollback command in procedure is affecting the transaction started in main program. So, this is like by default, okay. But what is my requirement is, my requirement is I want a separate transaction for procedure. So, I do not want this to be a part of main program transaction, I want a separate transaction for procedure. A commit or rollback command in procedure should affect only the transaction started in procedure, but it should not affect the transaction started in main program. So, if you want a separate transaction for procedure and create procedure with pragma autonomous. If procedure is created with pragma autonomous transaction, a separate transaction is created for procedure, a commit or 
rollback command in procedure affects only transaction started in procedure, but it does not affect transaction started in main program. Okay. So, this is without pragma. Now, let us see with pragma. So, this is with pragma. So, if you declare procedure with pragma autonomous transaction, then it would be like this. Like, see, so execution starts from calling program, execution starts from main program. So, here there is a update command. So, when you submit the update command, Oracle starts a transaction. One transaction is started here. So, this transaction started in main program. Next, you are calling the procedure, control will go to the procedure. In procedure also, there is an update command. But because the procedure is created with pragma autonomous transaction, a separate transaction is created for procedure. Because the procedure is created with pragma autonomous, a separate transaction is created for procedure. So, as the name like uh, what autonomous, autonomous means independent. So, procedure is an independent transaction. So, procedure is a separate transaction and main program is a separate transaction. That. So, in procedure, a transaction is started, then next. So, there is a rollback. So, what this rollback will do? This rollback cancels only the transaction started in procedure, but it does not affect the transaction started in main program. So, when this rollback is executed, this rollback cancels only the transaction started in main program. Sorry, this rollback cancels only the transaction started in procedure, but it does not affect the transaction started in main program. So, after this rollback is executed, then next control will come back to this calling program. In the calling program, there is a commit statement and what this commit will do and this commit will commit the transaction started in main program. So, here in this example, the main program transaction is committed and the procedure transaction is rolled back. Now, main program is a separate transaction, procedure is a separate transaction, procedure transaction is cancelled but the main program transaction is committed. Okay. So, this is like what is pragma autonomous transaction. Now, let us see this practically. I am creating a procedure. So, create or replace procedure, procedure name. So, what for I am creating a procedure? In this procedure, I am updating one particular employee salary. So, which employee salary you want to update? So, pass that employee number to this parameter E. So, I have taken one in parameter. So, whichever the employee salary you want to increment, pass that employee number to this parameter E. Then, and procedure updating the employee salary, incrementing the employee salary by 1000. So, whose employee number equals to E. Then, next after updating, so what I am doing is the transaction is rolled back. So, this update will be rolled back. Next, this is procedure, but this procedure is not created with pragma autonomous. Let us see with without pragma with pragma. First we will see without pragma, next we will see with pragma. Then and I am calling that procedure from main program. In the main program, I am updating the record, incrementing the salary by 7369 employee salary is incremented by 1000 and after that calling the procedure. So, and what is passed to this E is 7499. Okay. So, what is passed to this E is 7499. So, the main program is updating 7369 salary and procedure is updating 7499 salary. And next, there is a commit statement here. Okay. Then, first we will create the procedure. So, I am creating a procedure first. So, procedure is created and after creating the procedure, next let us execute this procedure. So, this code is compiled and this is stored in database, let us execute this procedure. I am executing this procedure from another PLSQL block. Now, and before we execute this procedure from another PLSQL block, let us see the employee salaries EMP NO salary from EMP. So, what is the 7369 salary 1800 and 7499 salary 1600. Before executing the main program, see the salaries of 7369, 7499, 7369 salary is 1800 and 7499 salary is 1600. Now, let us execute this program. 
then. So, first this main program is updating 7369 salary and calling the procedure and procedure is updating 7499 salary because the value passed to E is 7499 and 7499 salary is incremented by 1000 and what is there here rollback is there what this rollback will do this rollback will cancel the whole transaction a transaction is started in main program and this rollback will cancel the transaction so what happens is both updates are cancelled 7369 update and 7499 update and both updates are cancelled let's test it PLSQL procedure successfully completed and let's see the table select EMP NO salary from EMP. So, what is the 7369 still it is 1800, 7499 still it is 1600 that means so salaries are updated but due to the rollback uh, command in procedure so both updates are cancelled ok. So, in this entire uh, application only one transaction is started in the main program but a procedure is invoked after invoking the procedure in procedure there is a rollback command and the rollback command is cancelling the complete transaction so that is why the both updates are cancelled. Now let us let us do the same thing with pragma autonomous this is without pragma let us do the uh, same application with pragma autonomous. So, I want to declare pragma autonomous where you declare is. So, this is the declaration part in procedure after is. So, pragma autonomous underscore transaction. So, it is an hint to the compiler that create a separate transaction for this procedure. Now, procedure is an independent transaction. So, main program is a separate transaction, procedure is a separate transaction. So, a rollback command in procedure affects only this update but it does not affect update command in main program. Let us test it first we will uh, create this because we already created this procedure but the code is modified so it has to be recompiled. We already created this procedure but this is modified because we added a line pragma autonomous transaction so this code has to be recompiled. So procedure is created and after creating this procedure now let us execute this program. So, in this program you are executing update command one transaction starts next calling the procedure calling the procedure and control will go to the procedure in procedure also there is an update command a separate transaction is created for procedure then next rollback and this rollback cancels only the transaction started in procedure but it does not affect the transaction started in main program then after that the control will come to the main program in the main program there is a commit. So, what this commit will do this commit will save this transaction. So, the main program transaction is committed and procedure transaction is rolled back. Now, let us see this. So, PLSQL procedure successfully completed let us go and see. So, after this 7369 update is committed but 74 update is rolled back. Let us see this EMP NO salary from EMP see this. So, 7369 salary is actually 1800 now it is incremented by 1000. So, it is committed but 7499 salary so earlier also it is 1600. So, because it is updated but that update is what cancelled ok. So, this is how pragma autonomous transaction works. So, thank you for watching this video for more videos subscribe to Naresh IT.